Hey Container Admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Today, we're going to install LXD for easy image-based container deployments. The first thing to be done is the installation of LXD. As this tool is found in the standard repositories, it can be installed with a single command sudo apt-get install lxd-y. Once installed, you'll need to add your user to the LXD group with the command sudo usermod a capital G LXD dollar sign capital user. You can either log out and log back in or issue the following command to apply the changes. New GRP LXD. Now that LXD is installed, you have to do a bit of setting up. To do that, issue the command sudo LXD init. You will then be asked a number of questions. Unless you need a specific configuration for your setup, the default should work just fine. Those questions are, would you like to use LXD clustering? Do you want to configure a new storage pool? Name of the new storage pool. Name of the storage backend to use. Create a new ZFS pool. Would you like to use an existing block device? Size in GB of the new loop device. Would you like to connect a mass server? Would you like to create a new local network bridge? What should the new bridge be called? What IPv4 address should be used? What IPv6 address should be used. Would you like LXD to be available over the network? Address to bind LXD to. Port to bind LXD to. Trust password for new clients. Would you like stale cached images to be updated automatically? Would you like a YAML LXD init preceed to be printed? Let's say you want to launch a container using the Ubuntu 16.04 image. To do that, you'd issue the command LXC launch Ubuntu colon 16.04. The command will complete and display the random name associated with the new container. To ensure your container is running, issue the command LXC list. If you want to access the shell of your new container so you can start developing with it, issue the command LXC exec container name slash bin slash bash, where container name is the random name assigned to your container. You should now find yourself at the root prompt of your container. To stop and delete the container, issue the commands LXC stop container name, LXC delete container name, where container name is the random name assigned to your container. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.